So, hey everybody, um, this is probably the start of a new series where I review and show gameplay of games that either I or my siblings played when we were younger. So it's kind of like nostalgic games from my childhood, I guess. And honestly, I have to say, playing these games that I saw when I was little was a really surprising experience, since my memory is horrible and it captured them very differently from what they actually are. And honestly, I recommend you give this a try too. If you had any experiences with games when you were younger, then it can be quite fun to re-explore them. But anyway, with all the rambling out of the way, the first episode we'll be covering... Dynamite! So this game is part of the PopCap Games collection, just like many others will be in the series. If we look at it from today's standards, then it has quite overused gameplay elements. But that's because this is basically the prequel of the Facebook ball puzzle games your mom plays all the time. Except here you shoot dino eggs, and you play as dinosaurs, so you're shooting your kids? I don't fucking know. The game has four game modes, and there are certain mechanics that are shared across all of them, and they are as follows. To pop any eggs, you have to have the egg that you just shot land touching a vein of at least two other eggs of the same color. If the eggs reach below the line marked with the string, then you get stomped by this thing called mama, which is considered a bad thing, unless you have a foot and or a goddess fetish, that is. Moving on, there's this green retard with a mining hat in the bottom left, who basically does nothing other than tell you if you got a combo. And a combo is when you shoot three or more eggs that pop the instant they touch the other eggs. So basically every egg you shoot has to pop some eggs, and then you get combos. But they're mostly useless, since they don't really do anything other than raising your points, which I'm pretty sure no one in the history of gaming ever cared about. Or so I thought, until I played a bit more and got some really good combos, and I reached a dynamite combo, in which case you get a literal fucking bomb, which explodes and pushes everything back. I honestly didn't even know this thing existed at the time that I started writing this script. But now that I do, I try to pay attention a bit more to my combos. But anyway, that's basically all the mechanics that every game mode has, so I think I can move on to the game modes themselves now. The first one is Endless Puzzle, which is kind of like the main game mode of the game. It's literally what it sounds like. An endless amount of eggs coming down constantly, the eggs move down faster the higher they are, so if they're at the bottom, they're very slow, so that you have time to recover. You lose by the eggs getting below the line, as I stated previously, and unless that happens, you can basically play endlessly, thus the name Endless Mode. There's also this purple motherfucker called Whirly, who appears every time the hourglass on the right rotates. Its only purpose is literally to fuck you over, it does this by going from the bottom of the screen to the top, carrying an egg with it. If it reaches the top of the screen, then a new color will be added to the rotation, making the game harder, obviously. But thankfully you can prevent this by shooting it. The game mode has an easy, normal and hard difficulty, and they're pretty much what you would expect. Easy is super beginner level, normal mode is just generally having fun and playing the game on a basic level, and hard mode is for sweaty nerds just like me. The next game mode is Stunt Puzzle. This one also has an easy, normal and hard difficulty. If you played this game mode on hard, then it's the literal definition of bullshit. It's just like, what the fuck even is this? I don't understand man, what, how? But if you play on other difficulties, then it can actually be kind of fun. The concept here is, you are given a set screen of eggs, and you have to clear every single one without them reaching the bottom. But in this one, instead of them moving down constantly, there's this bar on the right, which fills up a bit every single time you shoot. Once it's completely full, all the eggs go down by one slot, and that's really all there is to it. It's more of a thinking and logic game, but unfortunately it comes down to luck a lot of the time. Unless you play on normal or easy, in which case you're a pussy. So the third and my most favorite game mode is Fossil. So there's this giant fossil in the middle of all the starting eggs. 
and all you have to really do is make it fall to win. Of course you do that by clearing every egg that connects it to the top. The hourglass is in this game mode as well, and every time it spins everything comes down by one slot, similar to the stomp puzzle. Every level is pre-made, except for the colors, obviously, and all the fossils you collect are then added to the fossil museum. And let me tell you, there is a lot of them. And I mean a lot of them. Every fossil is made out of three smaller pieces, which basically means three levels per complete fossil. And there are 15 fossils, so 45 levels in total. It gets harder with every level you complete, and by the end it gets really really hard. Just like my di- In Fossil there's no real difficulty selector, instead there's two sub-game modes. There's Strategic Mode and Panic Mode. The difference between the two is that Strategic is more slower, but also a bit more difficult, while Panic Mode is easier but much faster, so they're kind of balanced out. In my opinion, this is the best game mode out of the four. So here comes the last one, which is Time Trial. It's the easiest out of all of them, but that's mostly because you can't really lose. The rope has been brought up higher, and if an egg you shoot goes under it, then everything is pushed back by one. And it basically only comes lower if there's free space. At first I thought this was just an easier and more relaxing endless, but then I realized that there's a counter on the right, which shows how many rows there are still left. I consider this one more of a practice mode than anything, thus I feel like it's not really an important part of the game. Also remember when I said that every game mode has the mechanic where if the eggs go under the rope then you lose? Well technically I didn't lie, since the eggs don't go under the line. Oh yeah and there's no combos here, I did lie about that, but honestly I couldn't care less. Overall my opinion is that this game is hard. It's extremely challenging, and that's why it's so fun. Although, there are obviously times when you lose because of bad luck, which can be frustrating, but that's just how it is with these games. Although I think the stump puzzle on hard mode is just taking it a bit too far. Okay, I think we're done. So it's time to give this game a rating. And I am going to say that this game gets a 3 out of 10 for being unoriginal and blatantly copying ball up shooter games. So would I recommend this game? Yeah, absolutely. It's a game from 2002, but it still holds up quite well. And it can be quite fun for players of all skill levels, considering you play the right game modes of course. And yes, to some extent it did copy another game called Puzzle Bubble since that came out in 1994 and was like the original bubble shooter game. But if you think like that, then every single one of those Facebook bubble shooter games can be struck down for copyright infringement since they may be trying to replicate the experience for which puzzle bubble is known. Am I right, Bluehole? Anyways, so I think I've said everything I needed to, so I'm gonna end the first episode of this soon-to-be series here. Unless I become lazy again and stop making videos for a few months. But I mean, what are the chances of that happening? Yeah, it's see ya or whatever, I don't fucking know.